removed the name placards, which didn't make me happy, and that they were about to remove the tables. And informed me through, through uh, various messages that they intended to watch over that meeting carefully to make sure that the meeting that I had asked for permission to conduct on Senate grounds, since after all I was, last time I checked, elected to that office. Yeah. Um, I, I can have a certificate to prove it. Maybe Ryan can dig that up for me somewhere. Um, I, I said, please educate me. Help me understand what it is that we need to do so that we don't become a hearing thus subject to your uh, enforcement authority to remove tables and, and otherwise uh, disband our right peaceably to assemble. Uh, they could not and would not answer my question. And so at that point, um, I, I could tell that we could hold that meeting there, but only if we were willing to run the risk that they'd be constantly watching over us, lording over us, and at any time disrupting it in the event that they thought that what we were doing, for unspecified reasons, was getting a little too close to a simulated hearing. At that point, I, I was alerted by my legislative director, Ryan McCoy, that the good people of Hillsdale College would accommodate us in a First Amendment free speech zone. Yeah.